Hey guys, it is Briar Trout here and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So today is a pretty quick video, but something that I've been wanting to add to my small scale collection tour videos. And what I mean by that is that I select a certain part of my collection to show you guys more in depth. I did one on my Christmas horses. I did one of all of my decorators. I believe I did one for my vintage horses. And today I'm going to do my very small artist resin collection. So if you have been following me for any amount of time, you could probably tell that I am mostly a OF briar collector and there are no plans of that changing anytime soon. But I do have a few non briars in my collection. I have literally one copper fox, I believe one OF Peter Stone, a custom Peter Stone, a handful of Briar Customs, as well as the two artist resins that I will be showing you in this video. So I absolutely love artist resins. I just love the artistry of the model horse hobby in general. And obviously resin models just have the most amount of detail. And I truly wish that I could add more to my collection, but it's really expensive. Honestly, did have a goal at one point that like every Briar Fest I wanted to get one resin model. And I think I kept that up for like two years, but I believe I bought like a Marin Foal set that was like, I want to say like a Schleich scale artist resin, but I got them as just blank resins and then held on to them for like a year or two and just never got an artist. So I kind of have a rule for myself where I will not be ever buying any blank artist resins unless I already have a plan set in place to get them painted. And at this point in time there are really no resins that I'm looking after. I'm definitely focusing more on OF rarities and also customs. I do really love customs and honestly my new goal at Briarfest or Briarfest time is to get a custom stable mate. I've been very into custom stable mates lately. So yeah, let's just start talking about my resins. So my first ever resin model was this Little Miss Moxie. So Moxie is sculpted by Sarah Rose. She is honestly probably one of my favorite sculptors. I just love, love, love a lot of her artist resins. And this girl was painted by Kingston Studios. So I actually bought this horse as a blank resin, but I had a plan for her and I sent her off to be commissioned by Kingston Studios back in 2016. I, I cannot believe how old this horse is. Now like looking at it. I did send her back for repairs at one point. I feel like another thing with resin models they just need a lot more repair work and honestly this girl could probably use it again but it's mostly just on a few like of her black points so I'm just gonna try and touch it up myself it's nothing too horrible and I don't know I'm not showing enough for it to be worth it to fix her up right now but she's this really cool roan paint the cutest little snip and I'm pretty sure I just like found a cool reference photo on Pinterest when I was I don't even know, I was still in high school. I might've been like a freshman or a sophomore in high school. So that's crazy. But she is super cute. She is always going to be in my collection. Definitely like a resin grail for me. Very early on in collecting, I just, I loved this sculpt. Honestly would not mind getting another one on this sculpture eventually. I guess we'll see what falls into my hands. But she's super cool and it's really hard thinking about that. She's 10 years old. I, like don't really believe that. I just checked. I got her in April of 2016. It's also crazy to think how many more customs I've gotten from Kingston Studios aka Taylor since this. But yeah, this is Moxie. Okay, and next up, and I guess last, is honestly my freaking pride and joy. I love this horse. So this sculpt is Lily and I was actually able to find her on the equine resin directory and she's sculpted by Jasmine Roland. I probably saying that wrong. And I bought her, I want to say it was Briar Frost 2018. It might have been 2017 and it might have been 2019 but I'm gonna stick with 2018. So this is a traditional scale full resin. A little description it says traditional Shire Philly but I actually show this girl as a Clydesdale which I mean it makes sense. And she is actually a textured resin so she has all of this 
crazy herring, which I honestly don't really like on resins usually, but it just works for this little baby. So I honestly, okay, maybe I got her in Briarfish 2019 or 20, no, that looks like a 19, right? Right? And then I believe this says JM. Oh, so I believe that she was painted by, it was like Lilac Rose Studios or Lilac something studios, but I believe that she's not in the hobby anymore. But I bought this girl directly from her at Briarfest for $95. So honestly, I'm not usually looking at resins because I know they are expensive, but she told me that she just really didn't like her because of the texturing. And I mean, usually I am the same way, but it just works for her. And when I saw that she was under $100, I was just like, you know, I really wanna build my artist resin collection and this is the opportunity. And here we are, a couple, like five years later, standing at two. <laughs> so this girl has shown pretty well for me. She, I believe has, I, she came with a NAND card and I think she's NAND at least once for me. And I mean, there aren't too many draft artist resin sculpts, like traditional, so. It's pretty easy to place that shows with them but it definitely puts her in a disadvantage if it is a judge that doesn't like the texturedness but I mean I love her so I'm happy with it. Her show name is actually Springtime Lily so it honestly helps me remember what her resin sculpt's name is. So yeah that is my very small resin collection. I know this was a shorter video but honestly it's a crazy week and I was like you know what this is a good week to just film this video and add it to my little collection tour videos. Oh, also this girl's name is Southern Belle. I thought I should include her show name too. So let me know in the comments what you guys think of artist resins. Do you have any in your collection? Is it the main thing that you collect? I am very happy with my little artist resin collection. I'm sure a few more will pop up in my collection eventually. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Model Horse content. All right, I will see you all in the next video. Stay fabulous. Bye guys.